Yo, what's good everybody? As you guys can tell by the title, it's gonna be the first video of this recent storage unit. And you guys, it's pretty pretty spectacular. I will have some stats for you guys once all of the videos commence, all the all of them get uploaded, uh, and at the very last video. So I wanna say we probably have about two or three videos of the storage unit, and at the end of it, I will give you guys the breakdown of the stats. And um, But before we actually hop into the video, I just wanna give out a couple of shout outs real quick. Shout out uh, to, my, to my man, uh, Dragon Master. Um, I'll make sure to pop up his YouTube channel right here on the screen. Uh, make sure you guys go over there and subscribe to him. He bought a Georgia Picker sticker. I actually rhymed, did not mean to do that, uh, which is pretty cool. We actually just uh, put up 50 of them on my eBay store if you guys are interested. Um, also, shout out to Christopher uh, Nutter, also bought one as well. And then big shout out to uh, Jason with the Homesteading Northern Michigan YouTube channel. I'll make sure to flash up his channel as well as Christopher's as well. Um, he ended up buying four of them. So uh, shout out to you guys for buying the first stickers uh, for me. And I really do appreciate it. I appreciate the support. They're only $5 free shipping. And... Uh, it, you know that little bit uh, just you know helps in general but also too just want to give you guys an FYI too if you guys ever see me out there in the wild I'm gonna give you guys one for free or if you guys purchase anything in my eBay store um, and you as long as you guys leave like a buyer's note after you purchase it um, I will also give you guys a free sticker with your purchase so just want to throw that out there uh, with that being said we are at 8528 subscribers 10,000 couldn't be any closer but you know we got to keep working towards it and we're going to work hard for you guys to hopefully get there one day uh with that being said that's going to be it of my intro rant let's go ahead and roll it into the video all right guys check it out so we actually won a storage unit today uh we won it on storage treasures we paid uh 450 for it uh, which is still in my opinion hopefully cross the fingers right we paid 450 plus buyer's premium which i think we're all in at about 511 dollars roughly give or take and uh, this is the unit number, A032. And we're gonna open it up for the first time. And we'll show you guys kind of like how we always do, what we kind of saw, but again, it's all gambling at the end of the day. Let's see what, let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's yes, packed full, you guys. Oh, look at this. There's even a table right here that we can use to, to show everything. Mm -hmm. But as you guys can see here, tons of dust, man. Tons of dust. So, it seems like it's been here for, for a little bit. The uh, person who brought us over said they won't be here for maybe two months, but dust doesn't compile after two months. So I think it might be a little longer than that. But, I mean, there's a big Craftsman toolbox in the back. I don't know if you can get that. Um, we know we saw that in the pictures. There's a couple of ladders in there. Oh, and see it. at the very top here, I don't know if you guys can see it there. Like right there, the, there's a Nikon lens box up there. So we're just hoping that this person has some good taste. We also saw military uniforms right here. Um, and look, there's actually uh, possibly a DeWalt case right there. I think that's a DeWalt case. Um, so yeah, so not you know, no telling realistically what's going to be in here. But if you look down here, I mean, there's there's tools. There's what is this? A Sandisk flash pass, brand new, vintage, self welding. So I don't know. I guess me and the wife are going to get digging. And definitely a Christmas tree there. Beautiful chair too, by the way. Um, so yeah, I think uh, we're going to get to work. I'm going to set up this table real quick and we're going to show you guys hopefully some good finds. All right, guys, so we found these cases up front. I think we're going to start from like we normally do the right side to the left. Kind of do that. But we saw these three cases. They feel a little light. This middle one doesn't. It's called Panametrics ND7. I'm not really too sure to be honest. Um, cool little cases though, but I'm not exactly too sure with that. But this is the one that has a little bit of weight on it. Um, <laughs> and again, I'm not I'm not sure on this stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then right here feels, feels empty as well. Yeah, alright. Not off to a great start, but the fact that I've never heard of Panametrics, <laughs> you know what I mean? That makes me makes me feel a little uh, a little hopeful. But if you look here, there's like these two like big boxes here. One of them has wheels. And this reminds me of like audio equipment or the boxes we used in the military. But I'm not too sure though. But we're gonna see. Let's see what this is first. Maybe a typewriter. Maybe a small one. 
What is this? Long distance video sender transmitter? Huh. Honestly, I have no idea. I don't know, maybe this dude has something to do with telecommunicate. I don't know. Oh wait, look at this. Long distance video receiver. And then there's something right here. Is this a, oh wait, is this a monitor? It is a monitor. Yo, this dude is a FBI agent, bro. <laughs> right? Well, look at that. I don't know if that's worth anything, but you know, definitely, um, definitely interesting. And there's no way this unit was here for two months. Uh, and then again, the lady who said that, she's really nice. She, she, she's kind of new here, so she doesn't really know. But you know, oh look at this. Uh, it's not a Sheila collectible, but we found like a dozen of these. We'll throw that in there. <coughs> All right, I guess we can mess with this thing. This thing says Everest VIT completely focused on remote energy. Nothing in that. Nothing in that. It's almost, I, mean, I don't know, this thing might be a video I mean, I don't know. Oh, wow. What is this? This is a XA205 soft case. This is, looks like it's expensive alone. Oh my good, Charlie. This is, <laughs> is there a model number on this thing? Oh wait, this is a boroscope. It's a boroscope. Mm -hmm. How we used to do engines mm -hmm. and stuff in the military. Yeah, let me um let me look this up real quick, you guys, because that's I mean the first case. Ah. <laughs> Remember we paid roughly five eleven all said and done in this in this unit. Let's see. Twenty-three listed, you guys. One sold. However, somebody has one up there. People had these things up there for eight hundred dollars on eBay. Eight hundred dollars, like I'm being like dead serious. I don't know if you guys can see that. Eight hundred, seven fifty parts only, fifteen hundred. I think that's. I think. I think these are actually different. But that's the only only two on there. That's but that's for parts only. Somebody has it up there for eight hundred dollars. That right there might have doubled our money. Oh, almost doubled our money, just in that right there. Now it's going to take a while to sell, probably. Um, but that's. That is insane, and it's pretty clean. So, and me and the wife were sitting there talking about this unit. We're like, the ladders look like they're in great shape. The craftsman toolbox looks like it's in great shape. So, we think that this person really took care of their stuff. And, woo, it's crazy how we do it, man. I don't know how we do it, you guys, but we do. And again, for getting this for 450 bucks, like it was at $440 for the longest time. And, uh, and, um, we were gonna be betting on two different ones. We were like, we'd rather get two instead of one big one, and we were like, I mean, you go with your gut instinct. That's what my wife told me. So, we went with the gut instinct. It was at 440. We bid uh, 450, so 10 dollars more at the um, like the last three minutes, and nobody else bid on it, and we won it for 450. So, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, this is. You guys, that thing's heavy. Spin it around. Yeah. That thing is heavy. Made by Olympus Corporations. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Old JVC. Definitely old. You can smell it. What is this? that Olympus Ivy 2 let's see I'm not gonna look up everything you guys but you guys will obviously see things like on the on the screen Wait, I gotta figure out the model number on this before I freak out one of them actually sold for eight thousand dollars <laughs> so let me let me get the, the model number here we go let's see I mean I don't know they're selling for thousands like if you look at this if we go to that's 17 sold, but 76 listed, but like, I mean, 1800, 2800, 2500. Charlie, I don't know. 
I honestly have no idea, you guys. No idea. Other way, the handle goes. Oh, never mind. Yeah. But, I mean, there's other parts in here, too, you guys, like this thing right here. Something ILX 6300. And then there's like a big JVC uh, screen right here. Um, but again, I have no idea, but that is. If this. <laughs> Charlie. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is this is pretty insane. I'm, like, I'm not gonna lie. You guys, we. Like, we still have so. Like, we're literally two, three things in. Alright, so I'm gonna do this last one, then we're gonna switch the camera around. So the wife can get some action because she's getting all antsy over there. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's a bag in a bag. <laughs> oh, that's a nice Samsonite though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this is most likely empty. Yeah, there's, there's nothing in there. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Alright guys, look at the wifey. Is it heavy? So remember, that's the same kind of box as this one right here. Um, and I mean, you got, I don't know, wheel. missing one wheel. Okay. Yeah. But there seems to be a Sony camera on the ground right there. Yeah. All right. So missing one wheel, not the end of the world. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, it's a, it's a boroscope. It's another boroscope. That is another boroscope. So I don't know. This one we probably have to take out just to see what the br oh wait, it says made in Japan too. This is probably worth some money, Charlie. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, this is some high tech military stuff. <laughs> hey, look at that stuff, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll, 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 like I said, we'll, whenever we do these videos, I'll make sure that those sold comps, if I can find anything on this type of stuff. The real question is, how are you going to ship that thing in that big box? Probably got to take it out, of course, but. I mean that's Charlie. That's some pretty serious stuff, though. And look at this. This is this is literally it. But there's also a Sony camera here. And it's actually a cyber shot. It uh, is. Yep, yeah, it's a Carl Zeiss one, which is decent. It looks like it's in okay condition. And the model number on this is the Sony DSC W55, and it's the pink one. So I don't know. You know, I mean, it's, I mean, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of wild, right? <clears throat> Floppy drive. Got a clamp. Little, yeah, a little clamp there. And Bessie's actually a good brand too. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Bessie's a great brand. Radio chat. Got some cellular phones. phones. Oh wait, Sony remote. So see stuff like this though, you want to hold on, hold on to the side, you guys, because RMT-811. I don't think these go for a lot of money, but if you guys ever see remotes and units, make sure you just put them out to the side just to at least look them up. Automatic sealed lead acid battery charger. Okay, little vintage little power pack there. Blackberry. Blackberry. Floppy dash. Let me get on this side. So we can dive deep with the wifey. Yeah, see, like even like this vintage stuff right here. So the Sandisk flash path, like that type of stuff you want to put off to the side. You just you just never know. More floppy disks. Thermo Fisher sign people. In there, more another sand disk right here. There you go. But for the most part, I mean, other than that, not a whole lot there, huh? But, I mean, you figure a little clamp, you know, that's a good garage sale item. You know, this little remote, like the stuff that we said that we're going to put off to the side, we're just going to put, put it off to the side, like these two things right here. And then as we go through everything with a fine tooth comb, then we'll figure out, you know, whether or not things can be put online or in a garage sale. Yeah, so this top one right here, I think it's just all closed. I'm pretty sure, right? Open it up real quick. All closed. Oh wow, it's actually a Nike Golf one. <laughs> but it is yeah. branded though, so. What's that jacket right there, that brown one? Or at least I think it's a jacket. No, it's a purse, okay. Is that a binder, what is that? No, what is that? It's a t-shirt folding thing. Oh, it is? <laughs> but none of this stuff is folded, okay. All right, but either way, that's pretty cool though. <laughs> There's tons of totes, right? Like, like look, see the red ones? Mm -hmm. Tons of totes. And believe it or not, we get about four to five bucks a tote locally because people don't want to pay 20 bucks a tote. So that's also another thing you gotta remember. What is this? <clears throat> oh, that looks fancy, Charlie. Ferret Industries, pull it out. What is that? Something with the uranium? <laughs> I mean, it plugs into a... Air compressor. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's, 
What's the model on that? I don't know. Mm. I don't know, you guys. Like I said, we're not gonna look up everything. We're not gonna waste, you know, the time for that. But I mean, what, keys. There's oh, and it has the key, keys for well, for the case. Yeah. But what? So I guess maybe it's a vacuum sealer. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that's. <laughs> Yeah, we'll put that over there with all the potentially good stuff. I mean, Charlie, I mean, we might have five grand here for all I know. I have no idea. We did not plan this at all. <laughs> and matter of fact, in the pictures, we didn't even see these boxes, the big ones. Mm -hmm. Like, this this right here was uh, blocked off, and they never took a picture right here. All right, which one are we pulling next? Books. More. Books? Okay. You going to pull it out here on the table? All right, next box here with the wifey. The vintage shirt, what is that? Uh, Cedar Run District Swimming Trail. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was something with the Falcons or something, but it's not. Okay, any personal stuff we are going to try to keep here if we can. I think this might be personal. Personal? Yeah, okay. wedding pictures. All right, yeah, so wedding pictures there. We'll put that off to the side. Tons of books. I think this is going to be personal, too. Tons of books. Nothing, nothing exciting there. I was hoping maybe he would have some like camp, you know, photography books or something. Because sometimes photography books can be worth some money, but I don't see anything. Miss Kathy sent us a bunch of, bunch razors of razors because we always come unprepared. Yeah, I told you we had them in the truck. And yeah. you know, we probably have them for the past several storage units, and we just forget, <clears throat> so we use crappy, yeah, <laughs> crappy knives. Crappy knives that we find in a storage unit. But no, these razors actually cut really good. Looks like it's all bedding stuff, huh? Yeah. Like bed stuff, sheets, yeah, okay. So nothing exciting in there, but again, we want to show you guys the good and the bad. Obviously the good, the middle stuff, and the stuff that you don't really want to find. <laughs> Uh-oh, got a catheter. It's not a catheter. I think it's just something, water pump or something. <laughs> all right. Just some cleaning supplies stuff. Okay. Let me just throw that stuff in there. We've got a camera. Okay, so might just uh, kept this cleaning stuff in there. Bows. Got a bows box. Okay, okay. And is it in there? No, no it's not in there. In no but look, look at this. Yeah, Xbox. Xbox 360 controller. But see, even even like this stuff right here, this little Honeywell clock can do well, just depending on you know if it's desirable or not. But. That's yeah. Just wise. yeah, this stuff you got to definitely go through with a fine tooth comb, but a 360 controller. We were not thinking video games in this unit. Mm -hmm. We were just thinking maybe tools. I mean, I, I honestly have no idea what we're going to find. It'd be nice if we can find some gold and some coins and stuff. Oh, I was about to say Nintendo Switch. Know, right? <laughs> so yeah, a lot of tools though. We were right about that. What is this right here? Yeah, so, th so these things right here you want to put off to the side because they're the chargers for like tool uh, batteries and and drills and stuff. I'm notorious of, of listing those just because I love them. I love listing them. Cobalt, decent brand. So we got some screwdrivers. Oh, Thorson, that's actually a good brand too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna set all the tools aside because guess what? All the ones that don't go online go in the yards. Yes, they do. What is this? Is that Apple product? It is, look at that. Apple lightning to USB cable. I think that's, actually that's sealed. That is sealed. It's a mouse. It's a mouse. Uh, that's from Acer. No. So yeah. That's, that's a tool. Carpenters. Square or square or whatever it's called. Yes. Cyber Power. Okay, Cyber Power is a great brand. Yeah. Tell you, this, I'm telling you right now, when we get to the back, this unit is going to surprise the crap out of us. Uh oh. Oh, look. Oh, video games. <laughs> video games and. Family guy, that's good. What kind of video games you got? Uncharted 2, Devil, Devil May, May Cry. Cry. Here, show the camera whenever you do it. Oh, Devil May Cry, Uncharted, brand new. Oh, and Glorious Bad. <laughs> okay. We got a Family Guy DVD family set. set. So that's good. Oh, these things can do really well too. A new American Bible it's from Israel or something. What does it say? I don't know, normally $33. Wow. That's a nice little box in a box. Any other video games? A PC game, Civilization, some Blu-rays. We actually like Blu-rays. So I sell them in lots, and then Metal Gear Solid 4. So nothing crazy with the video games. Nothing, nothing too crazy there. But there's some good stuff in that. All right, so we got a big old chair here. 
What is this called? Right. A wicker chair. Wicker. Rattan is different. Oh. You'll sit in it? Tell me, tell me how it feels. I mean, that thing's nice. Not chipped, not not broken, anything like that. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I'll stay here for the rest of the time. You go ahead and go through the okay? Okay. <laughs> so I mean I don't even know what we can get for that. Fifty bucks. I mean, <laughs> you could get hundred and fifty for that. Hundred and fifty. Yep. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but we'll see. Look at this. Like land wrapped his racks. Oh, and look at this. This is another one of these Everest things, Charlie. Ooh. Holy crap. Oh, and I was right. This was a DeWalt case. No. Yeah. And we haven't even made it in the back, Charlie. I know. This one down. Another one of those. It is. But this one looks like it might be busted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dry rod or something. But we'll we'll still put it off the side. Maybe maybe you can sell it as parts. I don't know. But I mean, yeah, another one, you guys. Like, what does this man do? <laughs> I don't even know if we can sell them. I mean, I, I don't know. I and mean, look at these. These are foot joy, but I think these might be dry rod. Maybe not. Yeah, these are Foot Joy Vibram. They're called Gumbies. Mm -hmm. A lot of military uniform stuff. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of military uniforms. Something even had brand new with tags. Look at that. Brand new with tags. And there's money in this uniform stuff. Don't, don't get me wrong. I just don't want to look at clothes. Okay, so this is personal right here. So according to this, he was in the army, I believe. He was in the military in 2008, so this is his plaque. We'll, we'll put this off in the personal pile. This is the first toe, right? Yep. Yeah, first toe of the day. The farm, pure heaven. All right, we got a beautiful puppy. It's signed by somebody. <clears throat> I don't know. More of these Sheila collectibles. Why do we always? Why have we been finding these lately? I have no clue. I, I have no idea. Um, another one of these things, but it's not sealed. It's a lot of trash. Nokia phone. Uh, car duster. Looks like a poncho. Oh wait, Nikon. So maybe camera stuff in here. Remember we were talking about the lens in the back. Trying to find something in here. So yeah, there's just really nothing in here, you guys. But look at this. Thermo DVD. So I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, all signs say that this dude was probably a photographer or something at some point. Or I mean, I don't know. I mean, he was in the military, so he did travel a lot, so. Wait on this one. Not, not, not too bad though. Oh, okay. So he's playing with drones and stuff. Or helicopters or something. This is Walters. Oh, oh, Charlie, a gun case. Oh wait, look, he even has the magazine. <laughs> this is for a nine mil. Well, this thing's nice too. That thing's really nice, look at that. We'll see if we find it. Yeah, we'll put this off to the side. Has a gun lock, has a little. It is a 9mm PPS, 6 round something. So, yeah, 9mm. We'll put this off to the side, but we can find some guns. I was not expecting this. I, 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 like, I'm being serious, like, I was not expecting this. This is. This is wild. Where are you going? Huh? Oh, you're right. See, I'm already getting ahead of myself. But he collected like <laughs> all, all types of stuff, man. Like, uh, you know, and one thing to do just to kind of teach you guys something, at least look these up. And you see how you see how tactical that feels? This could be actually worth probably a little something. But if let's say you have a broken helicopter like this one, if you happen to find these, at least look these up because they can they can actually go for some some good money. Little audio box thing another one of these things yeah we'll put we'll put those two things off to the side and the rest of the stuff is just literally 
just cords and stuff. All right, you guys, I'm gonna do this last tote and I'm gonna let my wife get back in there. Give me a little, give me a little break. Well, before you show this, I think it's gonna be a lot of personal. Nothing, nothing else in there. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of personal stuff in there, you guys, and nothing else in this coat. Oh, Sony boombox shut. doesn't shut. Doesn't shut. Oh wait, that's a gun case. I do not feel anything. It's a nice gun case, though. It is. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> okay, we'll put that off to the side right there with the other case. So yeah, that's pretty good. Like I said, you might you might have kept all this good stuff in the back. Burberry. Burberry. Oh, not in there. Burberry. Is it the case though? It's a nice case. It look, I mean, it looks. It actually looks real. Yeah, I mean, this thing is nice. This this case just feels nice. So I don't know. I think that actually might be real. Brookstone. That see stuff like this can do well. Brookstone. Some of their weird stuff can do really well. This is for um, if you're traveling to like different countries. They're the different outlets. Outlets, yeah. So, I mean, that right there actually might be worth a little money. Washing machine connector. Washing machine connector, okay. Mm -hmm. Get on this side of you. Mm -hmm. Just a bunch of funnels. Okay. All right, cool. All right, got a big blue tote here. Oh. What does that say? Royals. Royals. Selling oh, I don't know what that is. Cigar, mm -hmm. maybe. I don't know. No idea what that is. Okay. Oh, what is that? You know, we're actually gonna look this thing up. Panometrics. That's the way. That's part of one of those cases. Remember? Yeah. So it might it might go in one of those cases. The wife is gonna look this one up real quick. None sold, but they're listed at like five hundred to nine hundred. So five hundred to nine hundred is what this thing right here is listed for. Yeah. That is. And that's it if that works because the screen works. Yeah. It does, yeah. That's if that works, but I mean, I mean that's kind of crazy just to think like, just to think what the potential for this stuff could be. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's kind of crazy. And we paid uh, five hundred and eleven dollars, you know, all in. You know, of course we're getting a U-Haul, so there will be more expenses. But I mean, <laughs> I mean this is kind of this is kind of wild. Nothing else with Christmas lights. Nothing else with Christmas lights. All right, on to the next one. But yeah, we still have all this, that's you guys. Just foam. foam. Okay, that's all this, you guys. We still have so much to go through. 10 by 20. I don't know if we told you guys that in the videos, but 10 by 20. And I mean, there's some serious stuff in there. That crafts and box looks pretty nice. Looks like he took care of it. So I don't know. This is like Christmas uh, lights and decor. Decor. Yeah. Okay, so Christmas decor. Same thing. Same thing in here. So we got Christmas decor. Little stuff. Okay. Cool. Now, this thing right here says Halloween, and <laughs> really, it's all they had for Halloween. <laughs> Poison. Yeah, we got an empty tote. Yeah. So is. if we wanna, yeah, we'll, we'll basically use this to put stuff in. All right, guys, give us one sec. We're gonna straighten up a little bit real quick. Throw some stuff in this tote, and uh, we're gonna try to see if we can move this big table out. That way, the wife can get to some other totes because it's like a lot of clothes right here. Um, just give us one sec, and we'll put you down. But thank goodness for the time of editing. You guys are gonna see it like that. All right, guys. Yeah, that's going to be the end of the first video. Now, I understand some of y'all might not think it was, you know, really exciting. Some people might have thought, wow, you're sitting on a gold mine. Uh, but those boroscopes and a lot of this aviation stuff that you guys are going to be seeing in the near uh, or in the next videos. And of course, in this video, uh, again, we haven't tested anything. So we just we just honestly don't know. Um, whenever I do give you guys the stats at the end of the last video of the storage unit, I'm basically just going to break down the numbers of everything we have listed, sold, and all this other stuff. And obviously, I'll tell you guys what we have, uh, you know, if we test the stuff, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but there's some pretty good solid stuff in here like that. That pink camera, the Sony camera, was just sitting on the ground. <laughs> it goes for like, uh, I don't know, what I say, 100 bucks or something. Um, and then, then, of course, the, the two Boris Ghosts. matter of fact, there's actually three of them in here. Spo uh, spoiler alert. Um and all that but yeah the next episode will be definitely a lot better with some of the finds but of course we have to break down these videos um one to help my mental capacity of editing and then also to just kind of you know not having a five hour long video so um but yeah much love that's gonna be the end of this video be back here uh tomorrow or in the next couple of days for the next session of this storage unit so much love and we'll catch you guys next video it's your boy georgia bigger peace I don't wanna wake up.